Wellness Platform, Ultra Personalized, AI Enabled, Journey, Wellbeing, One Interaction at a Time. Here is some key benefits of our Wellness Platform solution. You'll notice that it includes multiple and extensive data sources, um, anything from health risk assessments and surveys to intelligent virtual assistant user interaction data, medical scheme data, employer data, wearable data, etc. Also very important is privacy and confidentiality. There's opt-in and opt-out with 100% privacy and confidentiality. It's also highly personalized interactions at an individual level. It's also ultra focused on specific issues like chronic conditions, chronic lifestyle diseases, nutrition, mental health. It also replaces all fragmented and highly inefficient wellness offerings like EAP, wellness days, etc. There's also significant cost reductions for employers and medical schemes. It also results in real and measurable engagement. We also see the personalization impact on behavioral change. There's also inclusion to people outside the medical insurance net. It's also easy to integrate with any national health initiative or any other insurance model. It's predictive and preventative. Our wellness platform solution really drives healthier people, healthier employees, higher productivity and a better life. Okay, the modules of the Wellness Platform Solutions is presently on three levels. There's a general, which is just a deep library of wellness information about diabetes, obesity, depression, anxiety, nutrition, exercise, etc. The approach that we follow is also modular. This will drive wellness for the individual, medical scheme and employers. The second module is specific. And the highly targeted solutions are dependent on the objective of the medical scheme. And it also includes a wellness intelligent virtual assistant, which is made available on an opt-in basis to all members of the medical scheme. In the future, there's also other data sources that can be integrated. And that would include smart wearables, third-party wellness applications, and data feeds from employers. So in terms of an overview of our wellness platform solution, on the left hand side, you will see user specific data like user health interaction data via the intelligent virtual assistant. There's also health profile and survey data. There's also wearable data. And then there's also third party wellness app data. And then from a medical scheme, you will see claims data. And from an employer, you will see employer specific data. So our wellness platform solution is utilizing all available structured and unstructured data, mine it, build a 360 degree view of the health wellness, and then is driving towards an AI driven personalized engagement to provide that real time, relevant and on demand and proactive guidance, advice, support, and also recommendations to help optimize a user's wellness. And that leads to what you see on the right hand side, healthier people, healthier employees, higher productivity, a better life. So if we look at a use case where we want to drive wellness for a user with say diabetes, hypertension and anxiety, first step here is to register or log in uh, to your personalized wellness app. Second step is to capture your current personalized health and wellness data via a digitized health risk assessment. And the third step is to actually then see the real-time dashboard display of your wellness and health risk. The fourth step here is to interact with the wellness virtual assistant to get information and personalized advice, coaching and guidance. And you get this with respect to healthy eating and diet, exercise and fitness, mental wellness and health with a specific focus on chronic lifestyle diseases. And from the app, you can also get an advice dashboard where you actually get real time advice, coaching and guidance notifications via pop up messaging. And it's displayed over this um, advice dashboard. And you see this with respect to, again, healthy eating and diet, exercise and fitness, mental wellness, health and specific focus on chronic lifestyle diseases. Okay, then for the wellness administrator, 
or the employer or the journey administrator. We also have an administrative dashboard and a control panel for all sorts of administrative functions, business intelligence, real-time analysis with in-depth filtering and predictive analytics on specific risk groups, conditions, age groups, gender, specific medical schemes, specific employers, etc. Okay, next we are going to give you a tour of the Journey platform. This is the app where you can enter your ID and your password. And here you can register. There's a few steps that you need to go through. Second step, third step, you fill in all sorts of details, ID number, membership number, etc. And here I'm filling in my ID number. And my password. Again, I'm ready to sign in. Okay, and here is the, the high-level dashboard menu. So you can see the coach and you can see the advice dashboards, which are, which are right on right now. You currently don't have any advice, but we're going to go through the process from scratch where we will see some advice later on. So first we're going to go to the dashboard. You will see, whoops, nothing to see here yet. Um, so obviously please complete the health risk assessment. And you see nothing yet on the journal or the rewards or the benefits. So you're starting here from scratch. And what we will show now is how you first fill in your health risk assessment is as one of the surveys. So we click on survey. You see a range of surveys, health risk assessment, HIV, TB, PSA, etc. But we're actually going to do the HRA first. And first you agree to consent and various things. And the rest, what you see here is fairly quick, easy filling of specific health risk assessment questions. The first questions is all about just health status. So just asking about diabetes and thyroid disorder and all the different types of conditions. Just making sure if you have it or not have it, are you in medis medicine or not, etc. And are you in a disease management program, etc. So now the second section is on mental health screening. So here you fill in a few quick questions just to give an indication of your mental health. Just a quick assessment. All of it is over the last, over the past two weeks. And then thirdly, we're doing a lifestyle assessment. And here we're just looking at sleep and if you've got smoking habits and talking about daily workout routine. And there's also things like um, ex obviously exercise and looking at overall health, what's your assessment and, and your motivation. And then Fourthly, there's a dietary assessment. We fill in some specifics around what you eat and alcohol use and water intake. And then finally, there's some clinical measurements. Just your height, your weight, your waist circumference, um, last meal, then quick blood pressure, systolic and diastolic information, and then your total cholesterol, and your glucose and then finally your blood pressure again systolic diastolic and this is the final and that's it that's the HRA complete so we are going back that information is stored on the back end and it would tell you that that is now completed so it's up to date it tells you the date and we are ready to go. So now we can see if we go to the dashboard, you will see some specifics. You will see suddenly my risk and also what is the typical risk in green. My risk is in blue. And you can see some indexes for lifestyle, mortality and, and various other things as well. But you also see BMI, glucose, cholesterol and you see the results effectively um, of your health risk assessment and it also tells you your chronic conditions it tells you if it's managed or unmanaged and then it also builds up a journal over time of all these kind of assessments cholesterol blood pressure etc 
Again, the rewards and the benefits is things that's functionality that's still coming soon. Okay, we're just scrolling back here where you can see cholesterol levels, glucose levels, body mass levels, and there again the index, mental health, morbidity, and the other things as well. And now what's popping up, you see advice. Whoops, I'm getting advice. My BMI advice, um, I'm getting blood pressure advice, cholesterol advice, glucose advice, um, telling me if I'm done well in terms of some of this stuff, my sleep advice, smoking advice. And then work routine advice. So there's various uh, message cards that provides with you with uh, all sorts of assistance and advice. And, and you can go from here to the intelligent virtual assistant where it can tell you a bit more. There you can ask or you can just dismiss some of the advice if you don't want to see this uh, advice uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, so that is just quickly showing how you can dismiss some of the advice if you want to. So you don't have any advice at this point. Okay, so that's that. You see the notification also disappears because the advice is not, there's no advice specific anymore. And you've read them all. And here we're going through the journey coach and just saying, hi, uh, good afternoon, Jock, welcome back. Um, and then it tries to know some of your preferences. So it's asking about preferences and you can actually click on that and you can fill in preferences. Um, and then you can go into healthy eating, exercise and fitness and, and all of these different topics. Here I'm going into healthy eating and I'm asking about diet. And it's giving you, journey coach is giving you information around that and the diet types and when to diet. And you're getting all sorts of information around these kind of things. Going a little bit more detail about various things there. So I can also go into diet types. And now it's showing me a variety of diet types. And I can actually now drill down, drill down into this. So vegetarian, paleo diet, intermittent fasting, vegan, etc. And get more information there. I'm getting information about intermittent fasting. And I can go now to exercise and fitness. So this is just showing some of the key topics that we are covering. There's also a wealth of information in the, in the knowledge base around any of these, as well as health and mental health diseases. Here I'm getting information about exercise routines. Now I'm going into mental wellness. And here you will see things like feeling stressed or feeling depressed and, and providing you with information around those type of things. So if you feel depressed, it will say, I don't want you to feel stressed and stressed. Oh, sorry, I've actually said feel stressed and um, giving information around that and then you can go into types of stress stress management i want how can i reduce my stress so there's stress management now so giving me a bit more advice around that now i'm going to health and health covers a, a large spectrum of topics this obviously starts with risks and behaviors we want good risks, uh, good behaviors, and but it identifies the risks, but it also goes into lifestyle diseases, and, and you can see some of the main ones being covered, but there's a whole range of other ones also being covered. So there's depression, you can get information about that. And then you can ask all sorts of questions. Um, how much sleep do I need? And then it would uh, go back and give you information about that. The average sleep an adult requires etc to give you information around that and i can ask things like um, i need some help and uh, it will answer it will ask you about that what's up <laughs> um, can do all sorts of small talk as well
So what is a healthy BMI? And then then um, it gives you some indication of what that is. It's a healthy weight. Of what is a healthy weight, etc. Welcome back, Jacques. I am your personal wellness assistant. Currently, I can help you with healthy eating, mental health management, exercise and fitness habits, general health, and addressing some chronic lifestyle diseases. What would you like to learn more about? Tell me more about body mass index. Body mass index, or BMI, is a way of describing height and weight in one number that can help tell if someone's weight is healthy. A healthy BMI should lie somewhere between 18.5 kilograms per square meter and 25 kilograms per square meter. Would you like to learn what your BMI is? Yes, please. What is my BMI? Great. Great. First, please tell me how tall you are in centimeters. 190. Great. Now please give me your weight in kilograms. 90. Your BMI is 24.93. Mm. This is in the healthy That's range. Nice. I'll remember this so you can track your progress. Oh, thank you very much. It's my pleasure to help. Okay, I want to eat healthy. Eating a healthy diet most obviously will assist you in losing weight, but healthy eating has many other benefits. Changing your diet can significantly improve your general health, tackling diseases associated with heart conditions and cholesterol, as well as aiding diabetes, types of cancers, and even depression. Those who eat a balanced and healthy diet... Tell me more about the types of diabetes. Diabetes is a metabolic disorder that occurs when your blood sugar glucose is too high, hyperglycemia. Glucose is what the body uses for energy, and the pancreas produces a hormone called insulin that helps convert the glucose from the food you eat into energy. When the body either does not produce enough insulin, does not produce any at all, or your body becomes resistant to the insulin, the glucose does not reach your cells to be used. Okay, thank you. That's interesting. Um, I feel a bit stressed. I don't want you to feel stressed. The stress response is the emergency reaction system of the body. It is there to keep you safe in emergencies. The stress response includes physical and thought responses to your perception of various situations. When the stress response is turned on, your body may release substances like adrenaline and cortisol. Oh, tell me um, the different types of stress. Stress symptoms vary greatly from one person to the next, but the most universal sign of stress is a feeling of being pressured or overwhelmed. Other symptoms include physical complaints, stomach aches, headaches, chest pains, nausea, and diarrhea, and a sensation of numbness or tingling in your hands, arms, and face. Problems getting along with family... Okay, how do I reduce my stress? You're going to have some stress in your life, we all do, and it's normal. One of the best things you can do for your health is manage that stress even when you can't control the source of it. Some stress can be good. It can be a challenge that keeps us alert, motivated, and ready to avoid danger. But too much stress can make us sick, and it can bring on or worsen certain symptoms or diseases, research shows. I need more sleep. To ensure you experience good sleep, it's essential to follow good lifestyle habits and to eliminate the factors that are causing you disturbed sleep. For example, making sure that your bedroom is the right environment, cool, dark, and quiet, that your bed is up to scratch, looking at the lighting in your home, and avoiding foods and drinks that can hinder sleep. Avoid screen time at least an hour before bed and find alternative ways of relaxing like warm baths with calming scents, quiet soothing music, Healthy eating? Healthy eating and a balanced diet are critical to a healthy lifestyle. What would you like to know? We can... Tell me more about mineral-rich foods. Minerals such as calcium, zinc, iron, magnesium, and potassium in your body are very important for body functions. Minerals may be supplied by supplement. Meat, shellfish, legumes, oh. seeds, nuts, dairy. That's interesting. Okay, what is the best exercises for women? To learn more about these exercises, just click the picture. 
Okay, what is this dead bug? The dead bug. For this exercise, you will be lying on your back. Bring your arms straight above your head, perpendicular to the ground, along with your knees and... Okay, that's interesting. Mental wellness? Mental health is a critical aspect of your happiness, and I want you to be happy. We can talk about the types of stress, as well as methods to manage and reduce it. I feel a bit depressed. I would like to help you feel better. Depression is a disorder that is evidenced by excessive sadness, loss of interest in enjoyable things, and low motivation. Let's discuss talk about depression and ways to deal with it. Okay, what is depression? Depression is a common and serious medical illness that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think, and how you act. If you have been feeling some of the following symptoms, you might be experiencing depression, feeling sad or having a depressed mood, loss of interest or pleasure in activity. I need to know a bit more about health. Health is a state of physical, mental, and social well-being in which disease and infirmity are absent. That is what I want for you. How can I help you? Tell me more about risks and behaviors. Some of the key risks and behaviors that drive chronic lifestyle diseases include poor diet, physical inactivity, excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, insufficient sleep, poor standard of care, poor stress management, and lack of health screening. Diet and lifestyle are major factors thought to influence susceptibility to many diseases. Drug abuse, tobacco smoking, and alcohol drinking, as well as a lack of or too much exercise may also increase the risk of developing certain diseases, especially later in life. I think I need more sleep. To ensure you experience good sleep, it's essential to follow good lifestyle habits and to eliminate the factors that are causing you disturbed sleep. For example, making sure that your bedroom is the right environment, cool, dark, and quiet, that your bed is up to scratch, looking at the lighting in your home, and avoiding foods and drinks that can hinder sleep. Av Chronic lifestyle diseases. Lifestyle diseases are defined as diseases linked with the way people live their life. This is commonly caused by alcohol, drugs, and smoking abuse, as well as lack of physical activity and unhealthy eating. Diseases that mostly have an effect on our lifestyle are heart disease, stroke, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. The diseases that appear to increase in frequency at... Tell me more about heart diseases. The term heart disease is often used interchangeably with the term cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease generally refers to conditions that involve narrowed or blocked blood vessels that can lead to a heart attack, chest pain, angina, or stroke. Tell me more about hypertension. Hypertension is another name for high blood pressure. It can lead to severe health complications and increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and sometimes death. Blood pressure is the force that a person's blood exerts against the walls of their blood vessels. Risk factors are diabetes, tobacco smoking, diseases or conditions caused as atherosclerosis. Okay, play relaxing music. Here is some relaxing music. Oh, lovely rain. Already feel better. Thanks. That was peaceful. Thank you. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. Staying in good physical shape helps improves all parts of our lives. Let's achieve this goal together. What do you want to know? Oh, exercise routines. Tell me a bit more about that. When talking about exercise routines, it is important to understand the different types of exercise we can do. Here are the four main exercise groups, aerobic or cardio exercise, which speeds up your heart rate and breathing. This is important for many body functions, especially your heart. Strength training, which is important to build up deteriorating muscles. Stretching, which helps maintain flexibility, which is needed as your muscles age. Finally, we have balance exercises, which makes you feel steadier on your feet and helps prevent falls, which is especially important as you age and your inner ear starts to break down. 
What is causing heart disease? The term heart disease is often used interchangeably with the term cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease generally refers to conditions that involve narrowed or blocked blood vessels that can lead to a heart attack, chest pain, angina, or stroke. Okay, thank you very much. Anytime. That's what I'm here for.